Hey guys, so welcome to another video. Today we are hunting for a pumpkin because we are going to do some pumpkin art and jack-o'-lanterns to celebrate fall. So we're at the pumpkin patch right now. Are you excited? Yes. What are we looking for when we're finding a pumpkin? What do you think? We look for a round, something that could stand up by itself. It's strong and healthy. It's round, no lobster sided. No lobster sided? I mean, no. <laughs> uh, whatever. Lop sided? So. No lop sided. <laughs> okay, guys, so I already looked at this one before. Um, <clears throat> It's not healthy because the bottom. Ooh. <laughs> it's like it's smiling at you. And then you can see this side's kind of curved in. Mm hmm. And it's way too lopsided. Come on, look at that. Let me see. Well, one's pretty nice, but it doesn't have a stem for us to hold. What about like this one? Oh, it's a little square. We also gotta get more pumpkins, guys. Check out that one in the middle. Tell me if that one's good. It's got a stem. It looks round. Can you get out? <laughs> yeah, let me help you. Alright, okay, come on out and inspect it. We got a pumpkin, guys. And now, here, I don't know where to get the other pumpkin. Okay, guys, so we're back home. We got our pumpkin. We're in our painting clothes. So we're ready to try this new drip art technique for our pumpkins that we've been seeing all over Pinterest and YouTube and Facebook. So we've got our pumpkins in the back. We've got a little fall table going on. So we're gonna do a couple of drip arts and then Kai is gonna carve his first jack-o'-lantern. So you guys, make sure you stay tuned to the end so you can see what it looks like. Okay guys, so apparently to do the drip paint, it's supposed to be really easy. You just get a pumpkin and you take paint and you pour it over the top or you could flip it and pour it from the bottom and you want to let it drip and then you have to let it dry between layers so i'm going to try it first and then we're going to let kai try it i want to show you guys how it looks okay oh that's a pretty blue oh dang. oh it's going to be so pretty so i'm starting with the white pumpkin and i wanted a, a base on mine so i'm going to do a zigzag at the end so to do the drip paint I'm gonna like let it drain. Look how pretty that is. That is such a pretty blue. Mm. You let it get in all the cracks. And it's metallic too, guys. Mm -hmm. That's the even better part. So pretty. Um, don't beat that thing up anymore. It's already beat up enough. I'm gonna try and make it drip a little bit better. Oh, look, this works fast. I've seen some where they only drip like the top half and it looks really weird, so I want mine to like dripping all the way down. Look, if you put it at an angle, it drips a lot faster when you drop the paint. If you guys have tried this drip paint at home, I want you to post a picture so we can see how it looks, okay? And if you haven't, give it a shot. What color did you pick first? I picked gold. Gold? Let's see how it looks. Ooh. Ooh. Look at it go down. It's so pretty. But if you even just like rolled it on the side, it will come down. Looks like gold is coming out of your pumpkin. You're rich! You're rich! So, I'm doing my paint. Over here. Here. That was fast and easy. Is it dripping? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Look how fast and easy. Someone's gonna want to buy this pumpkin. They're gonna think it's real gold. Yeah. Sell it. Yeah. One thousand dollars on eBay. Gold pumpkin. Dang. <laughs> it's a big, but it's not worth it. But when they buy it, they're gonna be like, no. <laughs> Why do I spend a thousand dollars on this pumpkin? 
Mm -hmm. Right. We've been having some trouble trying to get it to drip the way we want, and I just remembered hair dryer can help move it. So it's gonna be a little loud, but watch what it does with the paint. It's moving the paint. first ever drip art pumpkins and Kai do you want to show yours first <laughs> all right let's see how yours came out I love the colors Kai I don't know if you guys can see that really good but it's green red and gold metallic and this is mine so let me a beautiful piece of art I did blue violet and green on the white base I love it so just another tip besides using a blow dryer to make the paint move down to, um, if you saw us using these straws in the video, it also can help you move the paint where you want it to go. Now, it may make you short of breath, but it'll get the paint down. So be careful if you're using the straw for a long time, okay? Okay guys, so that was our drip art video. We hope that you guys liked it. And definitely, definitely try it at home. It's a lot of fun. Um, there's lots of ways that you can do it. You've decorated pumpkins for the fall. We want you to tag us in your pictures. Post them in the comments below because we want to see the art that you did. And stay tuned for part two where I make my first jack-o'-lantern yeah. and see how all the pumpkins look, guys. We are excited. It's going to be his first ever jack-o'-lantern, so I'm so excited. High five. All right, guys. We'll see you on the next video, part two, coming up. See ya. See ya.